Holy Spirit, one, two, three, you and me equals the Trinity. Guys, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is with us. Holy Spirit, come now, infiltrate the video, infect people's hearts. Let them know that you are here, you are present, you are with us in the video. We are authentic, we are real, and we speak truth in God's word. If we say something that adds value to your life, please give us a thumbs up, a subscribe, help us grow the channel. We are trying to reach people in the name of Jesus Christ. And guys, we need him now more than ever. We are in a spiritual battle. We are in the fight of our lives, and we need Jesus now more than ever guys so help us out okay in the name of jesus today's devotional they have their father and the holy spirit amen and amen ask me and i will tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come jeremiah 33 Three guys, the Bible tells an interesting story about a man named Gideon. God told him he was supposed to lead the Israelites into battle. But Gideon was a little on the timid side, we will say. You don't want to say weak or soft. He was just timid, okay? He needed a little assistance. And he wasn't so sure that he was the person God wanted for the job. Because when God speaks to us, it's not always clear. So he said to God, if you are truly going to use me to rescue Israel as you promised, prove it to me in this way. He asked, I will put on a wool fleece on the threshing floor tonight. If the fleece is wet with dew in the morning but the ground is dry, then I will know that you are going to help me rescue Israel as you promised. Judges 6, 36 through 37. To put into modern terms, to bring it into 2023, it would be like saying, Lord, if this is really from you, I want to go out in the morning and find dew on my car but not on the ground or anything else. The next morning, the fleece was just as Gideon asked. Ooh, what a surprise. <laughs> then he asked the Lord for one more test, saying, this time, let the fleece remain dry while the ground around it is wet with dew, verses 39. The next morning, the very next morning, Gideon woke up to discover that God again <laughs> confirmed his word to him. We don't need to ask God for dew on animal skins, but we can ask him to confirm his word to us. This can come in a lot of ways. God can speak to us through circumstances as we Sense that something is the will of God and doors are opening for us. When I left Publix, the doors swang open. But we also must have God's peace when we're asking God to lead us. Perhaps there is a stirring in your heart. You're dissatisfied with where you are and sense that something new is about to happen. I had that feeling my last several years at Publix. And then when you take that step of faith, and it is scary, and find yourself in the will of God, oh my goodness, it's amazing. He floods you with his peace, and I felt it. I couldn't explain it. But the peace of God confirms that you're moving in the right direction. Colossians 3.15 tells us, guys, and let that peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. NLT. 
NXT version, guys. God wants to do, God God wants to reveal his will to us. But just as important as the will of God is the timing of God. Sometimes we have the right idea, but we're a little slow about getting to it. At other times, we have the right idea, but we're a bit ahead of the Lord. We get over our skis, right? That's okay, because the time will come. For example, God called Moses to deliver the Israelites, but Moses was about 40 years off. <laughs> He had the right idea, but the wrong timing. Maybe you're in the process of discovering God's will for you. Or maybe God has shown you his will, but you're a little slow in getting to it. Perhaps you're like Moses. You're a little ahead of his will. Know this. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. My prayer is that you discover that. God, I pray that as we go about our week, Father, that you help us to understand that you are in it with us as we lean in. Your word says that you lean in as well. When we do, you do. We reap what we sow. These are principles of the Bible written thousands of years ago, Father. But in today's society, it's difficult. We need your help. We need you to show up and show us the way. In the early years of the church, you spoke through the prophets. Now you speak through God, through the Holy Spirit to us directly, God. And I'm asking you directly. That you step in to people who are watching lives and you transform it in a way that they know that you are part of it, God. That it strengthens their faith. That it encourages their decisions. That it gives them confidence to speak in your authority. The authority of Jesus Christ. Amen. We move, God. We move in authority. We don't cower. We're not timid. We're not afraid. We stand on the principles of the gospel, and we are not afraid to tell people. And we are not afraid to speak truth. God's word is true. The Bible is true real when you begin to read it you begin to understand that god's word is alive and the more you engage and the more you study and the more you learn the better your life becomes in ways that you never thought possible by simply reading what a concept i pray that you get that because i did not For a very long time. But when I teamed up with Grace Ministries USA. And started hanging out with Pastor Bird. I began to understand. Because he answered every question. Every doubt. Every concern. Never judging. Always there. And that is my kind of pastor. And one I can get behind. And that's my prayer for you, that you find that relationship in your life. But it took intentionality. I had to choose that. I had to let go and give everything to God. And when I did, yeah, it was scary. But fast forward four years, man, he's moving in ways that I can't even explain. And that's why I started the channel. I want to share. I want people to understand that there is power in God's word. He is real. He does what he says. You can count on that. You can build a life on that. And he will not forsake you. Not for one second. He will be with you. He will make a way. Three things I want you to think about as you go about your week. 
one, God loves you more than you ever will understand because his ways are higher than ours. Two, he knows what you're going through. He's with you through it. Three, he wants you to turn to him so he can help you, but you got to ask. And that's my prayer that you get that. God loves you. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much.